Hi, let's solve one previous question of code generation compiler. This question was asked in GetCS 2013 question number 48. It is a linked question with question number 49. Some common data is given. The following code segment is executed on a processor which allow only register operand in its instruction. Each instruction can have at most two source operands and one destination operand. Assume that all variables are dead after this core segment, one core segment is given. Then question number 48, suppose the instruction set architecture of the processor has only two register. The only allowed compiler optimization is code motion which moves statement from one place to another while preserving correctness. What is the minimum number of spells to memory in the compiled code and four options are given. So only compiler optimization allows is core motion which moves statement from one place to another. Here you can see we define D, D equal to C multiplication A and we use D here. D equal to D multiplication D. So what we can do, we can do code motion on this statement means we can move this statement before this statement. Here also we define E, E equal to C plus A and we use E here. So what we can do, we can move this code before this E statement, E equal to E multiplication E. So only these two code motion we can do and only two registers are allowed for writing the code. And what is spill? Spill means storing register content into memory. And it is asking minimum number of spill. Let me write machine code for this code segment. Only two registers are allowed. I am just maintaining a register descriptor for this. Let R1 contain A, R2 contain B. Now I will write code for this. So I can write R, R2, R1, R2. As B don't have any use, B is not live after this statement. So we can allocate C on register R2. So the result will be stored in R2. Now R2 will contain C. Next we can do this statement x equal to c multiplication c as these two statements were moving to else part. Currently a is in r1, c is in r2 and after this multiplication result x will be in one register and x have further use and a have further use. In a statement if x greater than a so x and a we need to compare in a statement means x and a should be in register. So what we will do is we'll spill this c. We will store register content into memory location for c. So here we will do one spill. We will store register 2 content into c. Then we will do the multiplication. Means multiplication r2, r2, r2. Now C will multiply with C means R2 will multiply with R2 and that result X will be stored in R2. Now R2 contain X and we did one spill. Now C memory location contain the C data. Next we will compare if X greater than A. I already discussed how I can write code for compare. Next we will do Y equal to a multiplication A. A is in register R1 and after this also A have used. After this I will write these two statement. They are A have used. So we cannot free R1. We will use R2 for holding Y. So Y equal to A multiplication A that we can write as multiplication R2. R2 that will hold Y then R1 that hold A. Now R2 will contain Y. Next we will do for this statement D equal to C multiplication A. Currently R1 hold A, R2 hold Y. And C memory location contains C data. So what we will do? First we will load C into register R2 as we are using A. So now register R2 will contain C. Then we will do this multiplication. So D equal to C multiplication A that will write multiplication R2, R2, R1. Now R2 contains C, R1 contains A and this result 
D contained by R2. So now R2 will contain D. Next, we'll do this statement. D equal to D multiplication D. So R2 contain D, so we can write multiplication R2, R2, R2. Next, we'll do this statement. E equal to C plus A. Register R1 contain A and register R2 contain D. So what we need to do, we need to load C content into register R2. Then we will do this addition. So A equal to C plus A R, R2, R2, R1. R2 contains C, R1 contains A and result will be in R2. Means now R2 will contain E. Next we need to do this statement. E equal to E multiplication E. So, we will write multiplication R2, R2, R2. Now, R2 contain E. So, E multiplied E, that will be load in R2. Or you can also load in R1 as E is also not live after this statement. So, how many spill we did? We just did one spill. We store register content into C here. And after that, C is not sent. Here is only definition that C is defined. After that, C is not changed. So, by just one spill, we can write the machine instruction. So, answer will be option B, 1. In next lecture, I will solve question number 49. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.